No, no. We're, we're doing these first. Yeah. So today we're having uh, some, something we call a Plan B packing party with South Texas for Reproductive Justice. We um, get together volunteers to help us pack uh, packages that include uh, one dose of Plan B, uh, some condoms, some lubricant, pregnancy test and a whole lot of resources regarding sexual health uh, information and education on where you can find resources um, regarding your reproductive health. Our organization helps people in different ways. We provide education first and foremost. Uh, we really just get the word out there about um, you know where they can have access to different care and we also keep the public informed of things that are happening, like for example, the overturning of Roe v. Wade, um, just injustices in general regarding reproductive health. In addition to that, we're really providing practical support by sending out these free packages. You know, um, it just reduces the cost that someone might incur if they need uh, this type of medication. What I've seen most is confusion about what's happening, what they can or cannot do with their bodies. In addition, outrage. I've d definitely seen people be very upset, um, you know, realizing what the impact is of this decision. And, and in a way also mourning the loss of a uh, right that we've had for, you know, so many years. I see the court's decision affecting so many people and of course the most marginalized communities are the ones going to be most effective that's our people of color that's our latinx communities that's our immigrant communities i live here in the rio grande valley and i know i want to say everybody here is going to be affected primarily i believe that low-income people are going to be the most impacted because they're the ones that have to plan the most around the uh, decisions or the uh, problems that they have to navigate through, you know, uh, whether it's going out of state, whether it's going to make a reservation for a hotel, whether it's making sure you have enough gas in your car, you know, any, any little thing is an inconvenience for anybody who doesn't have like a good income. If we see an increase in births following this restriction and total ban on abortion, we're definitely going to see that the state of Texas is not equipped to handle it. We're already not equipped to handle it. Uh, we have children in foster care um, who, you know, the system has just kept them there for a long time. They can't find homes for them. We see shortages at the grocery store everywhere, shortages in regards to, um, you know, the infant formula. If that's already happening now, I can't imagine when there's an increase of births due to this restriction. I would personally say that I don't think Texas is prepared to support um, the families that they're forcing to have children. I definitely view our work as super important, something that's definitely needed. Uh, we're just trying to fill in the gaps somewhere in between where, where pieces keep falling, you know?